There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued and the prospect of actually knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring from the depths of the glaciers to the commercialization of space with three new discoveries. Massive hole discovered under Antarctica, bigger than the Grand Canyon. Researchers exploring the Ellsworth subglacial highlands, an ancient mountain range buried beneath miles and miles of Antarctic ice, have discovered a pit deeper than the Grand Canyon. The incredible find was discovered by combining data provided by aircraft satellites with ice-penetrating radar technology towed by snowmobiles. Originally an ancient mountain range, now layered over by thousand-year-old glaciers, the massive trench, or rather valley, reaches 1.9 miles deep, 200 miles long, and more than 15.5 miles wide. To put this into perspective, the Grand Canyon is only about one mile deep. Dr. Neil Ross, a geology professor at Newcastle University, describes the find as incredibly serendipitous. As the teams of researchers and scientists had spent three seasons mapping out the subglacial mountain range beforehand, yet had never expected to find this trough. They further went on to explain that while they had been able to gather data from the two ends of the huge hidden valley, they had no previous insight into what lay in between their data points. In the end, the satellite data was used to fill in the gaps, because although covered by several miles of glacial ice, the valley is so vast that it can be seen from space," continued Ross. After analyzing their discovery and supporting data, it has been determined that this valley was formed millions of years ago by a small ice field, much akin to those of the present-day Antarctic Peninsula. A couple of years later, a similar quest found a large hole beneath the barren icy landscapes of Antarctica, in which topography has shown that there may be another huge hole beneath the ice sheet's surface. This hole is not quite as deep as the last, or the Grand Canyon, measuring at only 0.6 miles deep, but it has been found to be longer than the Grand Canyons, making it incredibly significant as well. These sizable discoveries are quite literally in more ways than one, go to show just how much about the Earth we have left to uncover, and that there is still so much we do not know about the planet we call home. This is especially applicable to the Antarctic, one of the largest landmasses on Earth, still pretty much unsurveyed to date. Earth's black box will tell future civilizations about the end of humanity. Have you ever considered what will happen if or when humans go extinct? Who will outlive us? How will our histories and legacies be heard? What will become of the Earth? Well, scientists have begun constructing Earth's very own black box, designed fundamentally to outlive us all as a means to ensure there is evidence left behind detailing humanity's accomplishments. The massive indestructible box will record scientific data intended to provide a narrative to future civilizations as to what happened to humanity. The documented story of our rise and fall, if you will. The exact details of the project are as follows. The black box will be constructed from an immense steel monolith of 3-inch thick steel and installed in a remote location in Tasmania. It will use a system of internet-connected storage devices powered by solar panels on the box's roof, so that should the power grids go down, this box will still survive. The device will mimic the black boxes used in airplane crashes and cars, hence its name, and will collect information to relay to future investigators but this one will serve the whole planet. Variables aiming to be recorded include mainly climate data such as atmospheric CO2 levels, sea temperatures and energy consumption levels. Additionally, it will aim to retrieve more socially contextual data, such as news headlines and social media use and posts. Altogether, these will be able to paint a somewhat holistic picture of humanity before its downfall, should we have one, as well as changes our planet and societies faced up until the end. Not only will future inhabitants be able to learn about us, but it is intended that this data also advises them against making any mistakes we do. Jim Curtis, 
the executive creative director at Clemenger BBDO, hopes that should life on Earth crash as a result of climate change, that this indestructible recording device will be there for whoever is left to learn from that. With such measures of forward planning being taken, primarily to explain and warn others against our potential downfall as a species and planet, it reminds us of the need to look after and protect what we can, taking climate change warnings seriously and doing our bit to help ensure our future survival. It also is quite amazing to think that a black box, such as what we fit into various vehicles, will be constructed to cover the whole planet and provide such complex amounts of data. Blue Origin is awarded $130 million by NASA. To transition away from heavy use of the International Space Station, NASA is making increasing plans to lease private stations and has rewarded a hefty $130 million contract to Orbital Reef, a joint project between Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin and Sierra Space. The hope is that the sum will be used to build a commercial space station in the Low Earth Orbit, or LEO, for NASA to then lease for astronaut training and scientific experiments. Orbital Reef was only announced back in October of this year and is the world's first privately owned space station. It is expected to become operational after at least five years or so, and its uses will range hugely from space joyrides, advertising, to anything else really. Not only this, but as a business venture, it has already established that it will be scalable. So that as its uses evolve in the future, it can grow in size as needed at the request of private and government clients. The Orbital Reef project itself involves various organizations playing different crucial roles in its construction. Blue Origins will take charge of the infrastructure and actual development of the space station, while Sierra Space is responsible for the large integrated flexible environment modules. Boeing is then handling the operational details as well as supplying their Starliner crew capsule, and lastly Arizona State University is leading the research behind it all. Regarding NASA's $130 million award to Blue Origin to help with developing this project and future commercial space stations, the overriding hope is that this triggers more US private sector development of similarly commercial and independent space stations, available to customers in both the private sector and government. This will only help NASA's shift away from the International Space Station, allowing them to conduct more of their work in low Earth orbit stations as they redirect resources to their upcoming Artemis manned mission to the Moon. Imagine being able to stay in nearby space stations just for fun. With space becoming more attainable, it is hard to imagine that our technological reach has many limits. There is so much more to learn and discover about our own planet, its history, as well as those beyond us far into the universe, and we are making headway every day. But what do you make of these new discoveries, and would you want to go into space? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.